from Tampa Bay streaming news leader. This is ABC Action News. I'm Dee O'Reilly. Expect another hot and mostly dry day today. Greg D has your full forecast coming up. But first, I want to get to your top headlines. Leaders are looking to change Hillsborough County's face covering mandate so individuals and not businesses would be penalized for not following the rules. Some businesses say their employees are being put in hostile situations when they have to confront angry customers who refuse to wear masks. Owners say the order's current warding puts pressure on an already stressed out staff. Customers were not getting into trouble, but I can get in trouble if people are in here without mask on or coming in and out without the mask, then they can find the business owner for it. So basically making us business owner, the police officers. The emergency policy group says it's going to vote on a reworded mask order at its meeting next week. USF leaders are postponing moving forward with their reopening plan. The university was supposed to be in phase two by now. Instead, officials are closely monitoring the recent spike in COVID-19 cases. Leaders say their plan is flexible to account for changing conditions. Officials are expanding COVID-19 testing at Raymond James Stadium now from two days to five days a week. Those tests will be administered Tuesday through Saturdays from 9 until 5, but the site is going to be closed this Saturday for the 4th of July holiday. You do need an appointment to get a test. We posted the number to call in our free ABC Action News mobile app. Hillsborough County just opened a financial assistance program to help small businesses affected by the pandemic. Business owners can apply for one of three programs. One will help kickstart day to day expenses. Another will help rehire employees and a third is going to help business owners pay for improvements to stop the spread of COVID-19. Small businesses are the lifeblood of our community and our economy, and we want to do everything we can to support them. I think that's evident by the fact that Hillsborough County is putting $125 million towards the small business program. Applications for the Rapid Response Recovery Program can be submitted through the county's website. Meanwhile, today is also the last day small businesses can apply for the Paycheck Protection Program. That one's aimed at helping small businesses, too. The loans can be used to help keep employees on the payroll or for other expenses. If certain guidelines are followed, those loans will even be forgiven. We posted the program's requirements on abcactionnews.com. Just search Apply PPP. Here's Greg D now with your forecast. <music> Hello, everybody. A lot of heat as we head through the rest of this afternoon. Our temperature is climbing well into the low 90s, uh, but you know there's going to be a lot of humidity with this to our dew points easily into the 70s. So the heat index during the afternoon is going to reach near 100 degrees. Now, one nice thing, there are some additional showers out there and in Tampa through about midday, there will be a chance of rain. Then it just turns hot and dry as a lot of the rain moves east of I-75. You'll end a seven-day forecast with an update on rain chances for the 4th of July in the ABC Action News app right now. Do you? Thank you, Greg. You can now get news 24 hours a day on our free streaming news channel. Just download the ABC Action News app on Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Android TV, or Apple TV.